Hey everyone! Welcome to the Dollar Break channel where we test money-making apps. Today we're diving into Ibotta, a popular cashback app for everyday shopping. I've been using Ibotta for quite a while now and I'm excited to share my honest experience with you. In this review, we'll cover how Ibotta works and if it's legit, the sign-up process, my actual earnings, how to withdraw your cashback, the pros and cons of using Ibotta, and whether Ibotta is worth your time. Let's just dive right in and see what this cashback app has to offer. Ibotta is a free cashback app that rewards you for shopping at various retailers, both in-store and online. Here's how it works. First, you browse the app for offers before you go shopping. Second, you shop as usual in-store or online. Then you submit proof of purchase by scanning your receipt or link in your in-store loyalty card. Ibotta verifies your purchase and adds the cash back to your account. They partner with hundreds of retailers, including Walmart, Target, Publix, and many more. Is it legit? Based on my experience, Yes, they've been around since 2012, have over 35 million downloads, and maintain high ratings in app stores. Plus, they're accredited by the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. Signing up for Ibotta is quick and easy. First, you download the free app from your app store. Then you create an account using your email, Facebook, or Google account. Then provide some basic information like your name, email, date of birth, and zip code. Create a password, select your favorite stores, and then link your store loyalty cards if you desire to do so. The whole process just takes a few minutes. Ibotta is currently only available to US residents. Pro tip, look out for welcome bonuses. Currently, there's a $1 bonus when you redeem two offers within 45 days of registering. Now let's talk real numbers based on my actual usage. Here's what I earned over five shopping trips at Publix. On the first trip to the store, I spent $51.29 and earned 50 cents cash back. On the second trip, I spent $7.43 and earned 85 cents cash back. On the third trip to the store, I spent $61.74 and earned 75 cents cash back. On our fourth trip to the store, we spent $38.47 and earned a dollar cash back. On the fifth and final trip, we spent $39.04 and earned a dollar 75 cash back. I also made a purchase at Walmart where I spent $70.76 and earned 35 cents or 0.5% of the purchase amount. In total, I earned $5.20 in cash back over these six shopping trips. These amounts do add up quickly though. Just from buying what we need and scanning all the purchased products over the last four or five years, we've received over $1,200 in cashback rewards. That's $1,200 of free money that we've gotten back from this app just from scanning the items that we needed anyway each time we bought groceries. Cashback rates do vary widely. Some offers are for specific products while others are percentage based for the entire purchase. The key is to check the app regularly as offers change daily. Remember your earnings will depend on your shopping habits and the current offers that are available. Ibotta offers several ways to use your earnings. You can choose PayPal or direct deposit to your bank account, gift cards, or you can apply your earnings to your purchases at select stores. The minimum withdrawal amount for PayPal, direct deposit, or gift cards is $20. However, I found a great way to use my earnings before reaching this threshold. At Walmart, I was able to apply my total earnings of $6.08 at the time directly to my purchase at the register. This method has no minimum amount and saves you from having to scan each item with the app after you get home. All right, pros and cons of Ibotta. Pros, it's free to use, it's real cash back on everyday purchases, wide variety of partnering retailers, user-friendly app, you can stack it with other discounts and coupons, there's special promotions like free Thanksgiving dinner every year. The cons would be the $20 minimum for most withdrawal methods. It's time consuming to scan receipts and items each time you shop. It's limited to US residents and the cashback offers change frequently. Based on my experience, Ibotta can be worth it if you regularly shop at major retailers, if you're willing to spend some time checking offers and scanning some items, if you can avoid buying certain things in order to wait for cashback offers for those items. It's best suited for people who want to be more thrifty with their shopping. The savings can add up significantly over time, especially if you're buying groceries for a full family. However, if you find scanning 
scanning receipts tedious or rarely sharp at participating stores, you might not get as much value from Ibotta. My recommendation is to give it a try. It's free to use and even small savings can add up over time. Just remember to use it for purchases that you were already planning to make. Don't leave that money just sitting on the table. Thank you for watching. If you found this review helpful, please like and subscribe for more money saving tips. I'm Darren Taylor and this is the Dollar Break Channel. Happy saving!